And finally, pulling it together, we're going to look at some word questions. So, a rectangle is 3 centimeters longer than it is wide. The area of the rectangle is 18 centimeters squared. Write an equation to solve for the length. Now, something that can be really helpful for you here is to actually draw out a picture, just so you get the idea of what we're talking about. So let's put in a rectangle. It doesn't have to be pretty. The rectangle is 3 centimeters longer than it is wide. Okay. Well, what if we call how wide it is x, then how long it would be would be x plus 3, because it's 3 centimeters longer. And keep in mind the area of a rectangle is always going to be base times width. So, or length times width, or however you want to talk about it. Um, so my area here is going to be x times x plus 3. And it should equal 18. And that's the equation they're looking for writing out the picture so you can see what they're talking about. We're going to times those two things together and you should get 18. Now, this is a quadratic because I've got two x's, so I need to think about solving it in that way. And one of the first things I need to do is get it set equal to 0. So, one thing I can do is think about subtracting that 18 to the other side. That's plus 18, so let's move it to the other side. So we have x, x plus 3, minus 18 is equal to 0. Now, I still can't solve this yet because it's not really in brackets or, you know, factored correctly. And so that's the next thing we need to do is get it into brackets. But here we've got some stuff in brackets and one thing that's not. So what we have to do is actually re-bracket it, do it again. So what we need to do is expand it out. We get x squared plus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. Okay, now we're going to refactor it, put it back into brackets, and this time using double brackets. So what times is to 18 and adds to 3? What about 6 and 3? So x and x needs to be a minus 18, so I need to have one positive, one negative. And this middle term is going to be positive, so I know the bigger number needs to be positive and the littler one is negative. So plus 6 minus 3 would get me a positive 3. And now I'm going to solve for these, so x plus 6 equals 0, or x plus 3, sorry, x minus 3 equals 0. So, doing the opposites, x is equal to negative 6, or x is equal to 3. And which one actually makes sense? We're talking about the length of something, or the width of something here, so it, do it does not make sense to have a negative measurement. So, we're going to consider that x is equal to 3 is the measurement for x. So if we know our width is equal to 3, the length then is going to be x plus 3, so 3 plus 3 equals 6, and it's in centimeters, so 6 centimeters. So again, draw yourself a picture, write out the equation. If it's a quadratic, make sure you set it equal to 0. You usually have to expand them out to get them back into a single proper set of brackets, and then you solve to see what you've got. One more example for us, using a word equations here. So Tom is 12 years older than John. Scott is 3 years younger than John. If you add all their ages together, you get 30. Write an equation to solve for each of their ages. Okay. So what if we call John x? Then Tom is 12 years older than John, so he's x plus 12. And Scott is 3 years younger than John, so that's x minus 3. If we add their ages together, well that's John plus Tom plus, oops, plus Scott is equal to 30. So adding them all together we get 30. So there's an equation for us and now we're going to solve it. So we need to get all these x's together. I've got 1, 2, 3 x's. What does that add to? Well 3 x's is going to be 3 x. And when looking at the numbers, I've got plus 12 and minus 3. So that's going to be plus 9 is equal to 30. Okay. So, now what? Um, thinking about trying to solve this, we've got 3 times x plus 9 equals 30. So let's get rid of that plus 9. We'll move it to the other side to try to get x by itself. So a positive 9, the opposite of that, is going to be a negative 9. So 30 minus 9. We simplify that, we get 21. 
And that's 3 times x is equal to 21. So what's the opposite of times in? That's going to be dividing. And 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. So we know, because we said that x was equal to John, that John is 7 years old, that Tom is 7 plus 12, so he's 19 years old, he's 12 years older, and Scott is going to be 7 minus 3, because he's 3 years younger, so Scott is 4. And double checking, 7 plus 19 plus 4 does in fact equal 30. So again, just writing out, defining one of your variables, who do you know, and the comparisons of the others, and adding them all together.